In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the crispy sushi roll. This is a delicious sushi roll dipped in tempura batter then deep fried with a panko crust, which gives it just another level. It's great. You should try it at home. It's simple. You don't need sushi grade fish to do it. Now you take your 150 grams or five ounces of cooked sushi rice and you simply spread it out nice and softly. Don't press it down too much. Uh, you want to cover half the sheet. All right, perfect. Now you simply flip it over, place it on top of your bamboo rolling mat. Now on the empty side of the nori, see here, place down your asparagus. A little bit like this you do. Add about two teaspoons of masago. Fish roll. These are delicious seasoned uh, fish eggs, they're really nice. And then a nice chunk of fatty salmon. Now this doesn't need to be sushi grade because obviously it's going to be cooked, so it can just be your normal salmon that you have at the supermarket. Now to roll it, you simply begin at the end, you curl over, seal it so that the nori meets the nori, and you simply just keep rolling forward. Create a nice circular roll. Alright, there we go. So now to deep fry the crispy sushi roll, what you need is some tempura batter, some panko. If you don't know how to make tempura batter, then check out one of my earlier videos about tempura. A link should appear on the left corner now. So, to deep fry it, you simply take your roll, which you made before, dip the corners in first, and then just cover it in tempura batter. Okay? Now, in the panko, you want to do this quickly, and the sides, and then just the middle again, because I sort of moved it a bit. And then you just drop it in to the deep fryer. Now you want to deep fry it until it becomes a nice golden brown. That should take about three, four minutes. You just want to do it on the eye. Just look for the right color. All right, so it's starting to become the right color. You want a nice golden, golden brown. Don't take it out too early so that the salmon in the core really gets cooked also. All right, this is what you're looking for, a nice golden, golden brown. Just let some oil run off and just place it on uh, some tissue paper. After leaving the sushi roll to rest for about 10 minutes so that uh, it all cools down, it evenly distributes the temperature and the juices flow within the roll. You take the knife, dip the tip of it in some water and just let the drop run down the side of the blade so that the edge of the blade is slightly wet. Now you simply slice through and look at that, that's beautiful and cut it into one centimeter or two-fifths of an inch pieces. And there you go. Yeah, so eight pieces and two end pieces. Now you can do with these what you want. Uh, you can throw them away. You can eat them yourself. You can use them as decoration on a plate. Little mountains that you can always lean a piece of sushi against, like this. It could be useful. Anyway, just look at the inside of that. That's just, that's beautiful. Cooked salmon 
masago, cooked asparagus, hot rice, nori, and a crispy crisp. That was how to make the crispy sushi roll. Now this is a delicious sushi roll. I really encourage you guys to go make this at home. It's delicious. Now I do know that some of the ingredients inside are pretty hard to source, like the masago and the panko. Now masago, these are seasoned kaplan roll, and they come frozen normally in a box like this. Now this is very handy. You just keep this in the freezer whenever you want. Some you just scoop them out, leave it 10 minutes to unfrost, and just put this back in the freezer, and then just use what you unfrosted. And panko, these are Japanese breadcrumbs. These are amazingly crispy, and it's just so much better than normal breadcrumbs that you get. It, they're like bigger and crunchier, and they just make the outside of the sushi roll so much more crispy. It is just ridiculous, the difference. Okay, now, if you want more information about where to get masago and where to get breadcrumbs, just click on one of these now. So click on the masago if you want more information about masago. Click on the breadcrumbs if you want more information about breadcrumbs. Just click here on the video. There we go. Okay. If you want to use the same knives as I do when cooking sushi, then click on these knives now to find out more about them. And if you want to use the same cutting board, then click on the cutting board now to find out more about the cutting board. Anytime now. At your leisure. Just click here or click here. 